In fact, we are all someone else's difficult personality at some point. Human relationships within a work context with multiple constraints are necessarily complex and require patience. However, certain ways of functioning are more difficult than others. Those that prevent any cooperation despite repeated efforts. You can without fail identify a difficult personality when working with them leads to constant uneasiness, when you experience any work exchanges with them as exhausting, and when the frequent disagreements you have with them always occur in a tense or crisis mode. Though it's not possible to change a difficult personality, you can avoid certain mistakes and foster the status quo depending on the type of difficult personality. You must also break free of psychological games. There are two types of dysfunctional relationships in which the protagonists find themselves trapped in an endless circle. The phenomenon sometimes occurs unconsciously, sometimes through manipulation. These psychological games keep you in a dependency that is a source of problems. You must start by knowing how to spot them. The first is the drama triangle described by Cartman, which associates three interdependent roles, the victim, the persecutor and the rescuer. Sometimes the roles change round. A former victim becomes a persecutor, a persecutor becomes a rescuer. Sometimes the persecutor is not an actual person, but an obsession, a bad habit, an illness. The second psychological game described by transactional analysis is the parent-child muddle, which again is based on a relationship of dependency. So here the parent prevents the child from gaining independence and the child runs away from their responsibility. The proper channel is the adult-adult relationship. Sometimes we are subjected to games that are imposed upon us, sometimes it's us who cause them. In all cases, I'm giving you some advice for breaking out of them. You're now ready to organize yourself and boost your team performance.